What's going on, guys? We are here live again for the Wet Shavers Roundtable. I will move that. And uh, just so you guys know, just a quick update. Uh, we're trying to get Ray on, Ray Pope. Hopefully we can get him on in a moment. We're having, again, technical issues. Thank you, G+. We love you. Uh, so today we've got Con Kazazidis, who just disappeared. This is off air. And we have... <laughs> no, it does not. You got, There's a delay. We've got Con Kazazidis in Australia. How are you doing today, sir? I'm very well. Greetings from a rather chilly... Blue Mountains here in New South Wales, Australia. Awesome. And we've got So Sharp, David. How you doing, The Truth? I am doing pretty good. I'm kind of having the opposite issue of con. It is hot as can be over here in California right now, so I'm just trying to stay cool. How hot is it there? It's 80-something or other, really humid and sticky. So even though the temperature is not ridiculous, it's sticky and nice. gross. Yeah, that's nothing. It's 96 here. Uh, so, uh, we got a whole bunch of people over in Arizona. We've got Douglas Smythe, Marty Pape. Who else we got over there? We got Leonard. Leonard. Sam. Leonard, how are you doing, sir? And tell me, where? what are you guys doing over there? Well, this is like a, a post... Oh, shit. Jim. We told Jim to come to the bar afterwards. No. Oh. Well, we cut out of the bar we were at. We were going to be doing this live at this outdoor bar <laughs> after the meetup. Uh, but these guys are kind of dragging me out of there when a bunch of bikers took interest in my mustache. And now we're in our bed and breakfast and uh, to do this. And it's, it's, it's beautiful here. It's, it's very well air-conditioned. Uh, the temperature outside is, what would you say, Francis? Hot. Hot. So, Hot yeah. Muggy. This has been um, the Southern Arizona's first official meetup in Tombstone, Arizona. And when we're done with doing this little show, we're going back out on the street. This is a big night here in Tombstone. There is a – I think everything's open till 9, <laughs> wow. which is no in German. But, yeah, there's going to be gunfights and so on and so forth, so we're having a really good time. I've kind of – I've joined the, the, the cowboy gang. Nice. I'm liking I'm really the bandana. Looking, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of issues – Douglas causes on this week's show. Oh, what kind well. of sound issues we're going to have? No, I got the new mic, man. I was inspired. <laughs> I wanted to try this outside, but again, I was dragged away. Yeah. Well, it sounds good. It sounds pretty good. Uh, again, guys, if you are out there listening on G, just some quick house cleaning. If you are on G, and you're watching this via YouTube, click the link that says join the conversation. If you're private messaging us via on G plus itself we won't see your message there's a little you don't you guys don't see it but I've got a scroll bar here that shows me all the questions that are being asked also if you are on Twitter you can ask us questions via Twitter at WS roundtable and we will try to answer your questions today and now let's get on over to highlighting products David what product do you have that you'd like to highlight today? Well, there we are, we're live. You know, I had a phone. <laughs> but to, actually, today my product of highlighting is one that was uh, demanded by my boy Shave Buster. It's this brush right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's uh, Scott Pavkovich, uh anti gold Plasson knot. Nice. He took a fence last week when I said the Poisson was, I guess, uh, being left behind with some of the synthetics coming out and just uh, offering some better balance and, you know, just checking all the boxes and everything that you want in a brush. So I actually went ahead and showed this brush a lot of love this week. And, yeah, there it is, my Scott Paskovich uh, original Poisson right here. Nice. And, Con, what do you got today? Well, I'm looking at three products today, if I may. Sure. Uh, the first one that I'll be uh, looking at, well, this week, I haven't actually um, used this as yet, is the Van Ule Artemis, otherwise known as Diana, the uh, goddess of the hunt. Artemis was the, uh, the goddess I dated of her. hunting. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> uh, so, so looking at that, I'm also doing a bit of um, uh, B&M, I don't know if you can see that. Water layer, which Water layer. is 
absolutely sensational. Yeah, and I'm using the Rapira Platinum Lux uh, blades, which are very, very nice. Um, yeah, 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 they're very good. Oh, you can hear me? Yeah, we can totally I can. Hear you. So, so, yeah, so, so, so really, awesome. just keep it, keep it clean, keep it clean, please. Yeah, every every time you turn back to whisper to somebody, Douglas, we're hearing you. So, yeah. I have the game turned on. I'm learning this microphone. We, so. Oh, you're cool, man. <laughs> well, speaking of, was that all the products you had over there, Con? I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get Douglas on. I'm trying to do five things at once. You want more? No, no, I just, yeah. I didn't know. I'm, I'm half listening to what you're saying, and I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that, that, that's uh, it for now. I don't want to bore people with. No, you're, that's why we're here. Oh, All right, that, 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 that ship has sailed. Uh, <laughs> how about you guys over in tomb, Tombstone, right? Yes, Tombstone. That's nice. where we are. That's where we're at, I swear. We're not in my living room. And, um, do, you, yeah. do you, by chance, have – did you make a special soap for this meetup or, or no? He did. Uh, oh, Hey, what is this stuff? Rustler's Ridge. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, yeah, this is a new formulation. It's actually a cream soap, different than what I've done in the past. But, uh, let's see, it's more of a crope. So, yeah, these guys uh -huh. get to try that out. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's kind of magical stuff. I, I'm waiting to hear feedback from these guys, but we'll see what happens there. But, yeah, we had a great little meetup uh, this afternoon at high noon. And uh, good turnout, great people. I feel bad because Jim Chavez, like, we parted ways and he's supposed to meet up with us at this outdoor bar before we left town, but we cut out of there to come here to do this. <laughs> so he's probably there looking for us now. <laughs> no, um, he's watching. He's watching. He's watching. I know. He's, I hope he's watching. Jim, if you're watching, right now we're at Virgil's Corner, which is a bed and breakfast. We're actually staying in this bed and breakfast that was a, a plot of land owned by Virgil Earp. He actually had a house on this this plot of land that I think burnt down in 1987. But this bed and breakfast was built on that same location, and uh, so that's what we got going on here. And for cool, product man. spot, oh, yeah. and I've got product because he'll talk. He forever. has 33 pounds of product. <laughs> yeah. I, I kid you not. He brought it in like, like it looked like he was coming from the gym. Uh, I don't that think our listeners are interested in a single pound of any of that product that Marty has to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Coming from the LA, the LA gangsters gonna heat. call out that it's kind of product. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wearing red. Is that cool, David? Is this making? Okay. It offends me. It absolutely offends yeah. me. <laughs> but yeah, I, brought, I actually brought pretty much every soap I own. I weighed it. It was with a ATTS one, the Mongoose, three brushes, and all oh. my soaps. It was 30, 33 pounds of gear. That's obsessive. it. Was and I bought more since I got here. Wow. You have entirely too much time on your hands to pack all that shit with you. Okay. It was awesome. Uh, Leonard's, it was Leonard's awesome. Leonard's happy because he has samples now. <laughs> well, so, uh, uh, Marty is now my uh, sample guy. He's just kind of feeding my His addiction. dealer. Yeah. Yeah, first free. First free. Same time. Same time. But on, on the product spotlight, I got my Nathan Clark brush, uh, the cactus, the desert sunset. This is a beautiful brush, folks. It's 30, it's 30 millimeter. Brush. It's 30 millimeters. It's his NV white knot. That's my. I've been using this all week since I got it. You'll see it a lot more. Nathan, if you're watching, the cactus is such a nice touch. I've never seen anything like that, and it's, it's awesome. And then the three products you'll see uh, broken out this week, uh, I just picked up the fat because Khan couldn't stop talking uh. about it, so, so <laughs> I had to get it. And then I picked up <laughs> La Tejera uh, Mojada um, from uh, PAA, the kind of earthy petrichor kind of scent. And then... From uh, through the fire fine craft yesterday, I got a sample, espresso root beer. That is and a huge that sample. <laughs> yeah. that, that's like um, a tub so of I'll, soap. Yeah, it, it's not a sample. It's huge. It's that's uh, huge. Dude, here's the lid of the fat. You can yeah. compare the size. Wow. So she was super generous. I had no idea it was coming. I'm ecstatic to try it. Root beer, coffee, chocolate, right off the bat are the three notes I pick up. Two wow. great tastes that taste great. Root beer. What was it? Coffee and chocolate. Three yeah. great tastes that taste great together. So that's what I got. Three yeah. great flavors. That's dirty, Marty. That's real dirty. Does <laughs> Leonard have anything he wants to highlight? Oh, back? I just want to say happy birthday to Khan. Happy belated birthday. Khan just turned 28, everybody. I, it was last <laughs> Thursday, was it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Happy yeah, birthday. Let's forget about that, shall we? Wasn't it 28 times 3? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Pro well felt like that anyway. Uh, the only product that uh, I got in today, obviously I got to that meetup sofa they were talking about, but the one I'm really excited about is that Crown King uh, pre-shaved jelly. Oh, yeah. I don't have uh, yeah. the, little, the little tub here in my hand, but uh, you know I've been hearing so much about it, and to finally get it, and uh, I'll definitely be using it tonight, so I'm really excited about that. Cool, man. I actually, I actually have a question about that pre-shaved jelly for uh, Douglas. Um, I avoid often using any kind of gel products, including hair gel, uh, aftershave gels. For me, it always leaves a sticky feeling afterwards. What is different about this gel that prevents it from feeling sticky once it dries, or just in general after it's been applied? Hey, welcome right <laughs> to the show. Awesome. We, we got Ray. Can you hear oh, us, Ray? Oh, fuck, that he was hard. the door. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Way you wrong. so much for being here, Ray. And I'm so sorry that we were having technical Ray. problems with this. But oh, it's all right. My air conditioner had was terrible. the guys just finished my air conditioner and the air is on, so everything's good. Well, guys, if you are not aware, if you're out there watching, I'm sure everybody knows, but this is the most dangerous man in wet shaving, Ray Pope. He can hit a clay bird with at 200 yards with double lot buck. I don't know how he does it. It's crazy. <laughs> Because he has the biggest head in much shape. <laughs> yeah. oh. But thank you, you Ray. Hey, I got to see that head in person. He has a big dome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Three of us Watch. in this frame, and there's only one. Oh no, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell people you're moving around too much. No, I don't. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got all deer hunter on us. <laughs> hey, this is like a. Who's the guy in the back with that fancy mustache? That's Leonard. That's, this is that's Leonard Ibarra. So, <laughs> oh hey, back hey, to my Ray, question. I, uh, I know I know Ray busted in like uh, like gangbusters over here, but Douglas, oh, gosh, everybody's pulling out a gun. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what did what did this yeah. round people turn into? <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Uh, well, what are what are you asking? Yeah, <laughs> We're in tombstone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dave. All right, David. What? So yeah, that happened. <laughs> going back, <laughs> going back to your question. Well, if Douglas can focus, I think he's over, he's over there. Good guy. David, David, okay, so it's not going to get you sticky or anything like that. Have you ever used, uh, ever added glycerin to a, a shave soap that you're using? Yes, I have. Okay, so you know glycerin, after you, after you uh, use the glycerin, you have a soft, um, hydrated feeling on your skin, really silky, not yeah. sticky. It's more like that. Okay, yeah, I'm just curious. Gel, that, like a, yeah, like I for yeah. for everything, I avoid gel products, including aftershaves. Gel aftershaves. This is more of a, this is a jelly. Jelly. Uh, yeah. jelly uh, yeah, I, I don't know about all that. <laughs> so, <laughs> super don't jump in the pool, <laughs> so Douglas, how does that compare to like your pre-shaved soaps? You know, those Sorry, are. I just answered this question earlier. No, no. Uh, I, well, they're just two. Different. Oh, you guys can hear oh, everything you I say. The gain is like turned up way. Yeah. No, it, it's they're both really great products. They're two different animals, however. The way they compare is they really don't. The pre-shave soap is not only a pre-shave treatment, it's also a lather booster. So you could use that with any soap, a soap that maybe doesn't lather as well, that you might piff or toss or sell. You might want to try it in, you know, in combination with the pre-shave soap and see what happens because it will increase and boost the lather. Whereas the pre-shave jelly is more about like, uh, <laughs> giving you the same effects where it, it would lubricate and shield the skin. But it's also about the post-shave feel, too. It's a really beautiful okay. post-shave feel. But you can really get in there. It's super hydrating for the hairs, like really down to the root as you're shaving. And if anyone, you know, I mean, this is wet shaving. You want to wet the hair thoroughly, hydrate the hair thoroughly to get a clean, close cut. And I'm really digging the gel right now. I, I'm curious to hear what Leonard has to say about it after tomorrow. Um, but... Yeah, so they're just two different animals. You could use them in combination. You could wash, prep your face with it, the, the soap first, and apply the jelly after the fact. You know, but again, there's just two different, two different things. Yeah. Well, and now, Douglas, you can turn your microphone on because we didn't hear any. Of, I'm joking, Jane. Uh, hey, Kai, I didn't know you were. <laughs> yeah, we got Kai. So real quick, again, some more house cleaning. So for Ray, we've got David Gonzalez on. If I can click on it. We've got Marty, Leonard, and Douglas over out in Tombstone, and we've got Con 
hanging out doing the Twitter over there. And again, guys, if you are watching this live, you can tweet to us at WS Roundtable, and we can answer your questions. And if you're on G+, like I said, click the link uh, that says be a part of the conversation, and you can ask us questions there. Also, I was eating Mexican. Yeah, we actually. Thirty-three. <laughs> is that all your soap? Wow. This, yeah, that's thirty-three pounds of soap, guys. This is what we do at uh, meetups in in Arizona. <laughs> oh, this is what Marty does, anyways. He brings it's show and tell with Marty. And I'm nah. telling you, last the last meetup here, in, well, the one we had in Tucson, it was probably about ten pounds. Now he's up to thirty-three pounds. It's ridiculous. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, quick, uh, since we were talking about Worldwide. Crown King, uh, I had... What is, I thought your head was hitting me, Douglas. What the fuck is going on there? <laughs> Ray's always hated this hat. This reminds well, me of you, Ray. It reminds me of Chicago. If you haven't noticed, Douglas, I had a Petza uh, employee come over to my house, and they sent this to me. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, my... That's your dolls. <laughs> Stop killing teddy bears. And teddy bears yeah. basically, they were just very concerned. These are the people uh, that are concerned for the animals, stuffed animals, and uh, we they heard stuffed we animal some... activists. Yeah, they're yeah. really coming at me for the, the teddy bear hair. Uh, yeah. On on this week's uh, <laughs> show, uh, cutting edge watching podcast, Con and I delve into a little bit of that. Uh, we we received a couple emails and we we read one out loud. But yeah, it's it's pretty bad. This is just my one trying to make a living. My one political statement for the day. <laughs> Poly, well, polyester, polyestical, polyester. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> sorry, Con, no, sorry. <laughs> let's jump on over to the Twitter world. Do we have any questions over there? Uh, no, no questions as such. We just have some uh, uh, statements of, of fact according to Buster. He says that Ray is his favorite. Chicagoan. Um, yes, Marty did sniff the fat. We saw you sniffing the fat, Marty, so that's been, uh, that's all over. Yeah, there he is. Fat again. sniffer. Marty just sniffed the fat. He's the fat, he's the fat sniffer. Uh, what else have we got here? It's. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I got a question over here on G. We want to go ahead and take that one. It's about the fat, actually, this question, if you don't. Okay, go for it. Okay, um, does the, the fat causes my face to itch, and if I use enough, I get a rash? It makes me sad. Do any of you have that problem with the fat? Do you get a, an itchy face after you've used the fat, gentlemen? Uh, let me check right now. <laughs> uh, no, no, we're, we're testing this very live for you folks. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a problem with it at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love the fat. <laughs> fat. Speaking of, he's got <laughs> the biggest stogie in the world. Oh, man. I've heard that. <laughs> David, have you used the fat? Yeah, I, I love Mitchell Bull fat. It's, it's did, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, this week I actually did a video with it on YouTube, and I, I used some yeah. of these suggestions that some people that have given me. Um, over the past couple months that I've had it, um, I used the boar brush, I used cold water, and I actually used distilled water for the very first time with a soap, and it, it kicked ass, man. I got I got an amazing lather out of it this week, and absolutely no irritation. It has the greatest face feel of any soap I've had. Nice. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, really. interestingly enough, on the box it says, this gentle, soothing shaving soap is especially suitable for sen sensitive skin. So, uh... Well, this question was asked by Buster. Yeah, but I should, uh, I should say I've actually really. heard it, I've actually heard people uh, that, like having uh, irritation from lanolin. Is is that a issue people can have? Yeah, I've what actually heard that. Embarrassing issue? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't like, bar <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, know. I I think I I haven't tried the fat, but I just know in particular some soaps really? just don't work. No, I haven't tried it yet. So Busta I'm, has that. I'm out on Buster this. Buster has baby skin. Yeah. It's YMMV, as with anything else, but no, none of us here on the round table have had this issue. Yeah. It seems. Next question! <laughs> so we got a question here by Steve Hardy. 
He asks, so what's your best slash favorite cheapest shave soap? And then he put in parentheses, for me, it's a tube of palm olive at $2. So, Ray, we'll start with you. Best cheapest shave soap. Best cheapest shave soap, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. That, that's a hard one. I mean, it, it's either... Uh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be Arco. I mean, for I get a two dollars a stick. I mean, how could you argue with two dollars a stick? And yeah. it's good performance. It just kind of smells like ass, but you know it's okay. Besides that, <laughs> I, like I like the smell like it. Uh, David, how about you? I'd have to second that with uh, Ray said. Um, Arco is probably the best performing cheap product that I've uh, tried recently. I tried a bunch of like shave sticks and stuff. Most of which were like seven dollars and below. And just Arco, for me, was just superior to most of them. And, again, it doesn't get much cheaper than that. Uh, guys in Tombstone, how about you? Uh, uh, Arco is the cheapest Arco. thing I own that works. But of soaps, it would be Z Pepino by Razor Rock. How much yeah. is that? That's like a good one. That's like six bucks. bucks. Yeah, that's like a $6 yeah. soap. That's, that's actually a damn good uh, uh, soap to choose. Excellent. Yeah, of of Arco. course it is. I said it. Arco, <laughs> Arco is great. Marty, that's I the really first did. smart thing I've heard you say since I met you. <laughs> no, uh, he did a video there. He said a lot of nice things about me the other day, so you got to leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> well, he hasn't technically he hasn't met you yet, Ray, so he was just making things up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That'll change probably. <laughs> I guess the only thing I can think of would be Prorasso. It's funny. I've got two sticks of Arco, and I just haven't opened them yet. I haven't tried them. Two. Prorasso is actually probably good, too. Yeah, that, tub, that's the one I can think of. <laughs> Come on. How about you? Cella. What, what? Yeah, Cella, actually. I do have a lot of Cella. Um, yeah, I'd have to say the uh, Palmolive stick as well, and probably Arco. Those two are the cheapest and nastiest. What do you think? Dirty. Uh, you know, I love, I love the Arco, but uh, one that I also love is the Nivea Sensitive Men's uh, cream that comes in a tube. So I guess yeah. it's not necessarily a soap, but it comes in that uh, in that little tube. I, and uh, I can't find that stuff, crap anywhere. And it was like three bucks, four bucks, something like that. Where Where'd you get that stuff at? Where did you find it? Uh, I found it on Amazon. Uh, it's uh, I, yeah, Douglas might have it, and. Uh, I've used it, and in fact, I use it a lot traveling because uh, the, the last night of my travel, so I don't have to let it soak dry overnight. I just like use that cream. I know it's going to work really good. Uh, you know what? I forgot, totally forgot to highlight a couple products. <laughs> That's well, okay. back to, we need to move forward, uh, Rico. Hey, this is good. We're still talking shaving. Oh, that uh, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Let us know the products because you use some interesting stuff. Have you guys... I know a couple of you have tried the Fazon. This is an old vintage plastic open comb slant. This is one aggressive of my as hell. <laughs> yeah, I've never used it. I hear it's really aggressive. Yeah, I don't, I I don't think it's really aggressive. I, I wouldn't put anything. That looks like a vibrator. I wouldn't put that by my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gosh. How many and batteries does it take? <laughs> it yeah, takes if you put it near your ass, I'm sure you would have a problem with that, Ray. <laughs> And as far as an aftershave, yeah. we've got Pitrolone, Swiss Pitrolone, and I love this stuff. It's Lang Lang, yeah. Banana, and Rose, and this is just like a wonderful scent. And I have to give a shout-out to Claudio Portugal in Brazil. Mm. He's the one that recommended Claudio, this. Claudio, good dude. And yeah, obrigado, wow. obrigado. You can't go wrong with this stuff. It's awesome. And then on top of it, I actually I mentioned it last week, Clark Cabernet, I have not used it. And I just used it today. Uh, it this fun? stuff is yeah. fantastic soap. The rose scent is really nice. Yeah, and if good. anybody has more of this that is just new old stock or something, I would want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this stuff. It's awesome. So Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of, of that rose scent, but that soap performs yeah. if, amazingly. Yeah, and one of the things guys were saying about this soap was because it's a real hard triple milled soap that it's like, hard to lather and stuff, and I had no problem at all. I just bloomed the soap and had no problem with it. So let's jump 
Hey, over... hold on. Actually, yeah, go for it. Does the, can the Twitterverse tell us if there's any of that echoing going on? Because if there's no echoing going on right now, I would have to say that Nick Shaves came on our show last week and decided to sabotage us. I don't think he did that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Gotta have the name. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, hey, Nick, 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 if you're watching, I'm just playing. Don't get mad at me. You have like oh, he'll be 14,000 su- You have like 14,000 subscribers. Don't uh, you know, don't get all your memes. <laughs> hey, you guys try this, Chef? What is this stuff, Ray? Anybody try this? Lightning Kugels, I love that, that beer, dude. Yeah, it's Lightning Kugels, love shaving. that stuff. Hey, guess what? It's made in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. It's a great place, best state oh. in the world. They have one that don't tastes you know. like fruity pebbles. They've got one called that yeah. tastes like fruity pebbles. Yeah, it's like a, a blue label. It's like oh, they're wow. something berry or God knows what. But yeah, it, it, oh, it tastes like fruity pebbles. Girl beer the called, girl drink. The, yeah, that's the girl drink. It's called Berry Vice, and it's meant for ladies. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. This is, uh, this is what ginger, are you drinking ginger, ginger and lime. <laughs> yep, that's good. Ginger and lime. I had that when I was back in Wisconsin. Ginger and lime, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Hey, Rico, how did, how did you get out of making me a cup of coffee when you were in town? I didn't mean to. So here's the deal. We were in Chicago for a meetup about a month ago, and Ray asks me to make him coffee. And I brought all my – well, not all my coffee gear, but I brought a lot of coffee stuff so I could make Ray some coffee, and it just didn't happen. I don't know why. So Rachel has to be the most inconvenient person in the world to travel with. I don't know does he have to bring all that shave gear, but then he has his coffee gear. <laughs> his coffee gear. Mad. Imagine yeah. traveling with that guy. Yeah, my I don't know how my wife puts up with me, but she does. So. <laughs> but next time, Ray, what what is that place you're going to later today? That steak oh, place. Oh, I'm going to uh, no, it's not steak. It's prime rib. Prime rib. And it's Ooh. called Lowry's. Lowry's, and they got a uh, you know when you're a fat guy like me, they got the diamond Jim Brady cut. It's like it's like this thick. They come around on a cart. All they serve is prime rib. The part that pisses me off is Janine eats the same size prime rib I get. And she's 130 pounds. I can't. She she out eats me. I can't understand it for the life. <laughs> now we know where we're but, going to for the next meetup in Chicago next year, dude. We're going to Lowry's. Well, what, yeah. And what people don't understand is in, in the Midwest, prime rib is a Saturday thing, and then you got hot ham as a Sunday after church kind of deal. So that's a regional deal there. It's work. Yeah. And they're they're all appetizers too here. And just to remember, it's guys. Not wet shaving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Why don't you, you make have a any prime questions rib for us. That would be weird. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> vegan. <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird. We can, well. <laughs> wait, 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 how are you a vegan? Weren't you eating uh, uh, vegans eat fish? No, no, no vegans That's don't. A, well, I, I've seen some fish going down over there. Uh, right. Now we're gonna have another. <laughs> we're gonna have another freaking uh, another controversy. Yeah, yeah. Good God. I could only imagine the people on Reddit are going to just fucking have a field day today now. Thanks. Oh, so God. if you guys have any questions, like I said, you can go to Twitter at WS Roundtable to tweet to us or on G Plus to be a part of the be a part of the conversation. Uh, we've got another good the, question. The here. court. I like that. Of, of the court. Of the court, yeah. Uh, this gentleman asks, has the new fourth generation cheaper nylons killed the Plasson? And who's tried the Sterling TSC is calling it the Kong? The Kong? I, I, I wouldn't be comfortable putting anything near Sterling. my face that they called the Kong. Did you not? He just put out a video and it, the brush is huge. But what do you guys think? I, is the Plasson dead or not? I think the Plasson is falling behind. I, th- I think Plasson's kind of a falling behind now because, again, it comes with the, the same loss, the same millimeter knot. It's just, again, it, it doesn't check all the boxes that a lot of other of these new brushes are coming coming out with. Yeah, and they're expensive too. Like if you want to get the actual one from France or whatever, it's like $80 or something. Um, yeah, I just kind of think these newer brushes are, are becoming kind of game changers when it comes to the synthetics. Douglas, what do you guys think over there? Um, uh, for, for me, the Plasson, honestly, I think it's been below average for me, at least performance-wise. Yeah, it lathers everything, but it's still floppy. So I think that has killed itself. It's so one-dimensional. It doesn't give – you can't load from just the tips and then use the tips if you're that kind of a loader, lather. You have to bottom it out all the time pretty much. So it's just 
It's too one-dimensional. The whole game they played with the price, $30 one week, 60 the next week, turned a lot of people off. And now there's artisans that make beautiful stuff like this, so who needs those? <laughs> yeah, he's right. And it's, you know, the thing is, it's, now that it's an artisan's... See, Plasad needs to talk to the manufacturer because the manufacturer kind of like uh, betrayed them to a certain extent in releasing these knots to everyone else. And they release them to the right people. The artists are participating in the forums and the community that interact with people and know what they want and will listen and give them what they want when it comes to a brush. So thank you, Plasad. But um, yeah, I think Plasad is dead unless they come up with something else or change the knot size or just start yeah. listening more. You know? <laughs> but I mean, again, we were talking about this earlier. It's like it's... It's, this is a wonderful thing for synthetics because the more people that get involved in, in synthetics, uh, the more competing companies or manufacturers you will have with knots, and you just, they're just going to get better and better. Yeah. Ray, do you do you have a Plasson? Have you used one? I do. I do. That was the, guy, that was the one on the how drill. He knows the, that one. Say it again. The, that's the one I used on the drill and on the sawzall. I had a Plasson oh, yeah. to a drill and a sawzall. But yeah, they're, so they're, they're it up. They're, that's all they are. Is they're, they're average. I mean, I, I don't dislike them, but... I don't, I don't know. They never did it for me. Do you think they were? Do you guys think they were overhyped when they were at? Washington? I blame Christopher David Bailey. <laughs> I agree. I, I, oh, blame, I blame Chris Bailey with his uh when he did his top twelve countdown of favorite brushes and every single one of them were Poussins. That just caused hysteria. Yeah, and con. Yeah. In Australia, those were kind of expensive to get, even just the L'Occitane ones, right? Well, the L'Occitane, the L'Occitane uh, brush here in Australia was ninety nine dollars. Ooh, damn! Wow. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And then, and then they had a sale, and they reduced it to fifty bucks. Uh, and um, I think Mark Gur just bought the entire uh, supply on the eastern seaboard of this country. So. <laughs> No, fifty bucks. Even fifty bucks is, is a little steep. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. I think. That's, I think that's the thirty the thirty dollar mark is about right. Yeah, I love. What was that? Sorry, Ray. Yeah, go for it. So that's what you call the old slip to dick to me. Fifty bucks. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> dude, we're, 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 we needed to put a parental advisory on the beginning of the damn show, with Ray. What the hell are we thinking? They're yeah. going to shut us hey, down. Shit. David, you, cur nice. you cursed more than him. <laughs> David cursed more than Ray, so don't even get back off. Back I haven't off. noticed. Zero curses more than the both of them put together. <laughs> so, Con, what do we got over in the Twitter world? I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, you there. don't want to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, a, lot of people, a lot of people are... Um, well, Buster asked me a question. He said, does, does Con think less of Americans after being on this show for the last five weeks? Uh, I love Americans. Is what We're going to have to ban Buster from, from Twitter now. Is there a way to block him? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we love you. Speaking of Twitter, somebody wants to know whether we can um, streamline and centralize all the comments that are being made. Like, do we do it on G+, or on, on, on Twitter? A lot of people are, are tweeting, but there are some people that would prefer, I mean, this is just a statement, uh, would prefer to have all the comments going in through one central location. And finally, um, this is great, guys. How about your favorite citrus-based aftershave? Uh, yeah. Ooh, favorite that's a good question. Oh, that's a, that's a real good question. How about you, Ray? We'll start with you. Oh, man. You know what? I love lime and... I really hate to say it because he's on the show, but the Lime Ice Sage is, is my favorite. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to walk away for saying it. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> just, uh, so, David. Um, come to think of it, I don't particularly have anything that is citrus in terms of aftershaves. Like, I have aftershaves that I like. To pair with citrus scents, like I like doing one X with triple with citrus scents, and also like uh, fine platinum. But I don't really have a citrus aftershave. I should be so a I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, I don't. You know, it for me, it's probably the underused uh, by a lot of people, myself included. Enya, it's orange and cedar. It's just kind of a, I like that orangeness. I like the cedar that kind of brings it down a little bit. That's the one I use the most. Yeah. I really enjoy, if you guys haven't tried 
Folsom and Company, Shambhala, or I'm really, really digging Caprice, which is a very nice Italian lemon aftershave scent. So if you guys haven't tried those, those are awesome. Con, are you a big citrus guy? Yeah, I love citrus, um, but I don't know whether you, this is available in, in the United States or broadly. Uh, I know it's available in America. I mean, in Ita in Italy, um, it's the uh, oh, see. I've forgotten it now. <laughs> um, oh man! Anyway, these are some of the um, issues we have when we do a live show. That's yeah. That's that's right. Um, Blend and Bouquet is one that I really enjoy. I enjoy the Aqua de Parma Colonia. I think that's that's exceptional. Um, all now I've got the after. The, it, it, it is available in aftershave as well, Ray. Yeah, absolutely. It costs you about four grand to get it to get a bottle of the stuff, but it's great. It's good stuff. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, it's good stuff, and I'd have to say Blenheim, Blenheim Bouquet as well is a is a citrus bomb. Um, on the on the more affordable side, um, uh, Antigua Barbera does does a citrus um, uh, citrus aftershave which I really enjoy as well. Yeah. So I'm just getting too many feeds here. Hang on. You're fine. One X, One X by Razor Rock. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 1X is considered a citrus scent? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was just crazy because I usually pair it with citrus soaps. And I don't know it's considered citrus. Yeah, yeah that would probably be my boat then. <laughs> and that's why Chris Chandler wanted you to know that too. I just, I, I, I can't describe scents. Forgive me. If it ain't sandalwood, I really don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a nutshell. So, again, guys, if you're out there watching, you can tweet to us at WS Roundtable. As far as streamlining all the questions, I'm not sure if I understood what they were asking. Um, it's just two different ways people can comment to us, I guess. Some people don't have Twitter. And some people, because Google is not the easiest to use, don't know how to jump on to ask us the questions. So... That's why we've kind of got it in two places. But again, if you guys can, ask us questions at WS Roundtable, and we'll answer those. Douglas, out of curiosity, what's your favorite citrus scent? Aftershave, do you have one? That was a great way of avoiding the question, Douglas. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Yeah. Con, do we have anybody else out there? Um, we do Folsom Capris, uh, one of the ones that uh, I think Chris uh, Chandler has, has said is one of his favourite. Yeah, um, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? What, uh, Giorgio Carrado said that um, he was on the L'Occitane website and they don't have the Plisson brush for sale unless it's in their shaving gift box at the moment, but I believe yeah. that Giorgio is in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, and plasson has been very weird. If you guys haven't known known this, they've done this a couple times. They had the brush, and then they claimed it was discontinued, and then they just magically had a whole bunch of brushes. So there was a big buy on them, and then there was a sell. Um, and now I think they're actually out. They're not, L'Occitane's not carrying it. So if you do want the plasson, you have to order it from the French website, which is super expensive. <laughs> I mean, it was. I, I, did the I same never thing. even read. I yeah, I never even shaved with it. It already went down in money. It was unbelievable. Yeah. 
Hey guys, uh, I actually got a question asked to me through Facebook. He just uh, private messaged me. It's from a gentleman named Victor Gaines. He's actually asking, when will there be another Tucson meetup? I know Douglas has been gathering that information because of, uh, you know, they, they usually announce it on the Cutting Edge podcast. So, Douglas, by chance, do you know of any plans of a of a Tucson meetup? Uh, well, this, I mean, maybe next month. We have been, we've been discussing it, but we didn't set a date at the meetup. So probably next month in Tucson. Just stay tuned. Really, I'll talk about it on the show when there, something's coming up or on the Cutting Edge podcast. But good question. But Victor, uh, PM myself since I live in Tucson, and yeah. we can kind of talk about places to maybe set one up, and then I can coordinate with others and try to see where what location. So. Fantastic. Also, uh, also from Victor himself, uh, he actually asked, "What is everybody's favorite aftershave under ten dollars?" Uh, that was really hard. We already know Ray's. Yeah. Ray's gets uh, my, a family dollar for a dollar seventy-five. Barbasol Bridge. Under ten dollars. Uh, hey, that Barbasol aftershave is awesome, though. That, that I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I really <laughs> enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know if I have any. Um, maybe Thayer. Aqua Velva. Aqua Velva is my seven, favorite. Seven, Aftershave that you get like at the at, at the drugstore, man. Old Five Spice, bucks, love Aqua Velva. I got two. It's like I got two Aqua Velva Blue and Panada. Yeah, Aqua Velva Blue, Blue Ice. Clubman's like seven yeah. bucks. How can you not throw that in there? Oh yeah, yeah. Clubman for sure. Actually, I think that's oh, yeah, the yeah. top for me. Clubman. Clubman's Clubman probably yeah. Vanilla. Somebody yeah. asked this Vanilla. earlier. Too, I noticed on Facebook. Vanilla. Master Master Champagne too. You're missing out on Master Champagne. If oh yeah, no Master's the whole line is like. Are we talking about what we can buy in a pharmacy or what we have to buy online? Ten dollars, uh, period. Oh, just just in general, in general yeah. just yeah. Well, ten dollar. Masters, Pinard Clubman has a bunch of different like scents out there that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, also, really awesome. They also have a whole other like line, line. That's not under the Pinard Clubman name. Uh, Lost Street, is it Lost yeah, Street? A, yeah, is that the name? yeah. So I mean, yeah. There's a this. So I mean, they do it. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other brand, but yeah, Masters is definitely one of my one of my favorites. But yeah, you Never really can't beat Clubman. Yeah. Uh, let's go back. Ray got me into it. Let's go back over to the Q&A. <laughs> I've noticed, and I'll ask the guys out there, if you can hear Douglas's audio feed, let us know. We can hear him perfectly fine on our side. Let us know if you can hear it. It's Marty. It's Marty. <laughs> so, let's see. We have one guy saying he's going to use the fat today because of the show. So, awesome. <laughs> nice, nice. And hey, I guess I'll, I'll, need to, uh, I need gentlemen, to... I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, I, was, I, was, I just asked right now, where can Masters Aftershave be purchased? Because I, I, I don't even know myself, but there's also... Uh, oh, sh that shame, like to shameless know. plug coming this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you see me right do, there. I Obviously, I guess it's a, <laughs> available at phoenixshaving.com, or if you want to spell out phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com, which is a ridiculous name, but you can go, go to phoenixshaving.com. Just because you don't know how to spell doesn't mean it's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm, you know. and you actually only hey, I'm sorry, but months, the brains uh, of the so operation, wild Fran, wild wild actually wild agrees wild. with me. <laughs> she wanted to name it Phoenix Shaving. So, put... Okay, cool. So we're good on the audio gag. <laughs> <laughs> for whatever, David, shut down! <laughs> no. For whatever reason, people weren't hearing your guys' audio, and now apparently they can. So They're better good. off without it. So, Turn, it. Turn David off. <laughs> Ray, quick question for you. Okay. What is, what is one of your uh, kind of go-to soaps that you just keep coming back to? You know, I, I got to say there's two. There's two that I keep coming back to, and one is the first artisan product I ever tried, which was Cavendish. I always go back to that <laughs> because, because it's, you know, something that I tried. Tough. And I got to I gotta say that, uh, that um, oh, God, what's the name of it? Tonsorial Parlor from Katie's Bubbles I use. Oh, uh, yeah. It's pretty regular. Those are probably the two that I use the most of. Yeah, I love that stuff. And Cavendish is an awesome scent. I 
something that's not talked about enough, and this will be another shameless plug for you, Douglas. Uh, I totally love the deodorants that you make. Oh, you guys thanks, haven't man. tried those? You guys got to try these deodorants. They're awesome. Especially Did you just get one? No, I, well, I've, I'm almost out of Neroli, and I finished uh, Cavendish earlier oh, okay. about a month ago. So I got to get more stuff. And I'm waiting for you to bring back, I don't know if you're going to bring it back. Um, I'll look. Uh, what's the gon gondolier? Why is this? Probably not. Uh, I love There's that. Soap I used it today. I have a, I have a stick. <laughs> yeah. What were you asking, Ray? No, not, not the soap, Ray. Just the deodorant. Oh, all right. All right. Gone. Ray doesn't worry about that kind of stuff. <laughs> what do we got in the Twitter verse? Okay, in the Twitter in the Twitter verse, we've got um, people asking. Well, more more importantly, Tom, the shave tank, asking <laughs> whether Ray will consider playing the Punisher in the Punisher. He wants to be. He wants to be part of the Punisher <laughs> franchise. And I know that this is a this is like Leonard. Leonard would love. He always question. turns into like action heroes. Leonard, Leonard loves the Punisher. I know he does. I know he does. I don't. I don't know, I don't know what Punisher, that is. Leonard. You know. Are you a comic book fan? Marvel Comics. I'm going to totally nerd, no. nerd, geek out on you. He's this dude who, like, goes, he's like Batman, but worse. <laughs> With guns. With guns, oh. yeah. He, he's the Punisher. Yeah, he punishes people. Oh, well, tell him I'll check it out. I don't know what it is, but I'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray, you're okay. on the show, too. You got to tell him yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I guess you he heard it already, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> we have a quick question here for Khan. Uh, mm -hmm. Gentleman asks, what did Khan buy for himself for his birthday? Or <laughs> did someone come up with the perfect present for the man that has everything? Except him. <laughs> oh, I, mean, oh, I, don't, I don't know about the man who has everything. <laughs> what, what was that? What did he say? Leonard said, "Except yeah. hair." What was that? Was, he doesn't have headphones. He was talking about something else. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mike picks up That's a that's a <laughs> polishing the dome. Oh, um, okay. Well, the man who has it. Firstly, I'd like to address that part of the question about the man who has everything. I have nothing. <laughs> I have, uh, I don't have everything. I, I, I have nothing. In fact, so, I'll tell you what I got. I got myself, and this is what I purchased for, for yours truly. I bought myself a new watch. Nice. Uh, I, I was going to say watch. I was going to say Patty Not Philippe a, or an Audemars. No, no, I know you would have said a Patty Philippe. Mm. We've already spoken about this, Ray, off air, of course. <laughs> about the, You love the Patty Philippe's, huh? Patty Philippe. <laughs> Brightlings, too. I yeah. like Brightlings a lot. Yeah, Brightlings and Patty Philippe's. Philippe's. No, I, I got myself a um, one of these, an a Apple Watch. Oh Apple, wow! How is it? Oh, yeah, it's good fun. The problem is now that wherever I go, I'm getting notifications for Facebook, notifications for Twitter, notifications for everything. I want to kill this. One. I want to throw it away. Hey, does it have a <laughs> does it have a camera on it too? Yeah, I can actually take photographs remotely, Ray. That's nice. You could do a lot of dirty shit with that. You could do a lot of dirty shit with that. That's nice. I like your one, just for that, kind. Well, by dirty, you yeah, no. good, because that's what Australia Yeah, in dirty. Australia, yeah. dirty. That's what we mean by dirty. Oh, no, and, and I know what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got it. dirty like a dirty martini? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Olive juice. All of me. Oh. <laughs> yes. All of you. <laughs> what else we got? Show, so. <laughs> yeah. that, went out, that went out the window as soon as Ray walked into the room. Yeah, there's going to be a rating for this show before we post up on YouTube this time around. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, so oh, can I just say, by the way, before we get there, the questions, there are classic, go for it. There are classic Ray Pope tweets going out as he, as he utters them. If you're, if you're following our feed... <laughs> on WS Roundtable, there are classic Pope quotes that are going out. <laughs> nice. Hey, I just want to mention, I have a question for you guys, actually. Have you tried these yet? 
What are they? They're Blaze. Elios. No. Never heard uh -huh. of them. Are they awesome? They no. are awesome. If you get a chance to pick them up and try them, try them. But one thing I've noticed about this con that you might be particularly interested in is you can flip them. After three shapes, flip it, and it feels like a new blade again. I'm telling you. Wow. So and I want you guys to test that. Get, get that, get, oh, I, I get suppose, that, I suppose they don't know me. who carries these either, right? <laughs> <laughs> they do say lame on I do. I do carry them, but that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, this is this is my new favorite go-to blade. And uh, I'm telling you, after the third shave, I flip it, and it feels like a new blade again. So, Con, I really want you your opinion on these. In your birthday okay. present, I'll include them. Oh, nice. Gee, thank you. Okay. So we had a – this is kind of awkward um, since I'm the one reading part of the questions. Someone asked me <laughs> if I had tried Ahab's bitters. Um, and, yes, I have, and I have not done – a review on it or anything. The only problem is, and this makes he must me really, hate it. no, no. I like, I liked it. The only thing that makes me sad is a lot of coffee scented soaps and aftershaves. I have like a weird irritation with it. Like it burns my skin. So it's like I'm the biggest fan of coffee, and I can't use coffee scented soaps. So really, you know what I. Out. Is there anybody that makes a coffee soap that's not a sweet coffee, like a black coffee? Does anybody make that? The bit, uh, the Ahab's bitters actually is kind of like that. It, Does it? I haven't tried it. it. Uh, that's just the aftershave. Yeah, um, it's just an aftershave though. Soapy Bathman, I haven't used it yet, but they have their cup of Joe. It's kind of got like a little chocolate note to it, but it's got the coffee chocolate kind of thing going. It's a little bit sweet, so not exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, I see. I, I like. Black coffee or like a very strong espresso or a Greek coffee. Something scented like that I think would be outstanding. <laughs> so we got a total nerd question here. Uh, someone asked, any superhero shavers? Superman used his laser vision. Have we ever seen Batman shave or something? I've read a lot of comics. I don't know. No. Batman <laughs> doesn't shave. Artist. That might be the oddest question of the the of the, the, sh the history of this show. This must, is it Buster under a fake name asking something like that? He <laughs> might be. He might be. Hey, uh, gentlemen, anybody? I do I do have I do have uh, somebody asking me a question um, yeah, go for, for a recommendation on a good uh, straight razor tutorial video. Who would you say would who would you guys uh, uh, recommend to this gentleman who just received his first gold dollar from Anthony Esposito and um, you know, he, he wants to pick yeah. up on, on some pointers. Um, I would say either you or or um, uh, Geo Fat Boy or Anthony. I would. Those are uh, one thing to think about too. If the person's going to have a goatee, go to that type of person. But since a lot of guys don't shave their chins, you might want to go to somebody who does the full shave. If you're doing a chin shave, so you can see how they round around the chin area. Yeah. I'm not a straight you know, razor shaver, so I don't know what. Did he send Ray you actually is really good. I, I, uh, the sh videos I watched were were uh, Geo Fat Boy and Lynn, but I yeah. think I think Andy Newton's got a real good video out there for for new guys. I, I, I would recommend that. Just if, it, also if you're gonna watch Geo Fat Boy's old videos, just don't pay attention to his lather because I actually learned that his lathers were kind of ugly. <laughs> How uh, did Mantic ever do one? Did he ever do like a straight razor? Or he's not a straight guy, is he? No, kind of oh. sorry. He's, he's toyed around with, but not straight. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh. he's toyed around with it, but it's just not. It's not his thing. Another guy you might check out would be GI Jam and James. He is really good with straights, and he's not. A lot of these guys, they don't so much go through like how to. So well, this guy wants a how to. Yeah. Still wants a I, I recommend getting the old book, which you can. It's a PDF file from a barber school from I think 1908. I could be wrong on the date, but uh, it's known as the old book. But it's that's not the title. But if you Google old book straight razor shaving, this will pop up. It's a PDF. You Is that the book? That, you, can, you can download you can it. An, you can get that as an app, right? I don't know if you can get it as an app, but it's a PDF yeah, file can. out yeah. there. So you can print it up or you can get it as an app, apparently. But yeah. that book is great. 
Uh, and Lynn Abrams has a lot of great videos out there with actually teaching you how to straight razor shave. And that sounds like what you want, what you should go for. So I'd yeah. say start with Lynn because Lynn's the one who pretty much first brought it to our attention and you know really uh, just defined it in that regard. Yeah. Yeah, Lynn is the guy that has, he has about like I, th I think that video is like forty five minutes to an hour. But he goes through every single yeah. detail, especially for a gentleman that's a little bit older, has some of the loose skin and stuff. He actually uh, explained it well on how to deal with all that kind of issue. Yeah. Con, do we have time for one more question over there? Uh, we have we have time for a, for a comment. Um, Elios, yeah. uh, the Elios blade. Now there was a the toing and proing and conversation. Is Elios a Greek word? Yes, it is. It means sun. But they're not Greek blades. They're made in uh, Germany, I'm told, uh, by Tom, by Tom the Shake Tank. He says uh, they are made in Germany. They, and are. they are as bad as, and they are as bad as the Merca blade, from which the back, <laughs> back in which they come. Nah, Ooh. I got told. Maybe, we got some no, fighting. No, that's lies. That's like fighting words. Bolzanos. They're also Bolzanos are also made in Germany. Probably at the same plant. I wouldn't doubt it actually. Yeah. yeah. But uh, most people are Italian. Sharp as hell. No. Yeah, yeah. These yeah. are these are kick ass. I don't, Tommy. I don't know what you're talking about. We're gonna have some words in February though when you show up in Arizona. <laughs> well, guys, that's always the case though. Yeah, that always happens. Very good, good questions today, and we're, again, the time just flies by way too fast on this show. But we thank you for joining us. I want to thank our special guest, the most dangerous man in shaving, Ray Pope. My pleasure, guys. Always Thank nice you, Ray. This is Thank almost you, like Ray. this is almost like the meetup again in Chicago because it was a lot of the guys that are on here were in Chicago and. Well, well Douglas has been passed out. <laughs> <laughs> He's only had a few gin and tonics. Yeah, I'm drink, I'm pounding coffees now to stay on point. So, Ray, quick question oh, for you: If people wanted to yeah. find you online, watch your videos, where would they go? You know, I don't. I don't know my uh, my YouTube channel. I really don't know. It's Ray Pope. Yeah, it's Ray Pope. It's your God-given name, like. Yeah, just Google YouTube.com/backslash Ray Pope. Uh, David Gonzalez, where can people find you at, sir? Uh, you can find me under So Sharp David on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And we'll start with Leonard. Leonard, where can guys find you online? Nobody's looking uh, for Leonard. Oh, people are finding Leonard. Uh, no, yeah, nobody looks for me, but uh, if you are for some reason, uh, <laughs> just, you can just type in my name on YouTube. And uh, there's actually two channels. One of them comes up of videos of me and my kids, and one of them just shaving. Um, unless you're a weirdo, don't look at the videos of me and my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Marty Pate, where can you find me? Leonard, Leonard, Leonard Ibarra. Ibarra, Y-B-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. Cool. I bet you Busta already looked at all the videos of your family. <laughs> wow! Ow! You're the, you're the meanest guy in shaving. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's so rude. I would never say that. Yeah, like Marty, that. you need a website. With that. I tried to like link up uh, on YouTube. It just, it just Marty Pape or uh, M Pape seventy eight for me. And Douglas, where can gentlemen or ladies find you at? <laughs> he's taking. Uh, yeah. Could be ladies. Uh, honestly, find me on find me on Facebook, Douglas Smythe. I'm probably the only one on there. Yeah. Befriend me, PM me. You can also find me at Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements dot com, Mustache dot com, The Cutting Edge Wet Shave Podcast dot com, Mustache and Blade Show dot com. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Though, honestly, they'll all be in these links right. This is my link right here where you can find me. Because I'm editing this after this show. <laughs> nice. And Con, the guy who doesn't want to be found, but if you want to doesn't want to be found, other than here every week, you can find me at uh, Shave the Man. Shave the Man, and you yep. guys can find me on Twitter, YouTube, and all those places at Rico's Corner. And uh, thanks for your time. We really appreciate it. If we didn't get to your question, we'll try to get to it next week. And again, you can tweet us at WS Roundtable. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us out, lets us know what's going on out there, and lets you guys be informed on what's going on here. And again, thanks to Ray, our special guest for the day, and hope you guys are having a good one, and we will talk to you later. See ya. Ciao. Ciao.